Okay, I'm going to be showing you the first part of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, the Adagio section. It sounds like this. And it goes on from there. I'm just going to show you that part that I played there. All right. So the first thing that I want to show you is uh, what the left hand does. It's pretty simple. You're going to start in an E. And it's, this is not the original key that the song is written in. If you're interested, I can link to um, some sheet music where you can find the original key or any other key below this video. But for now, I'm going to show you in just an easy version. So you're going to use your left hand and you're going to play an E. And your right hand is doing this thing. Forget about what my right hand is doing for now. Just watch my left hand. But I'll play with the right hand too. So I'm playing an E with my left hand, then I move to a D, one, two, three, four, I'm playing that with my two fingers, so thumb, so E to D, and I'm going to move down to a C, and that's for like, it's getting faster now, half the time, to a, an A, and that's with my pinky. So let me show you the first four notes, and I'll do it in time. E, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, C, two, A, four. All right, so after you get those first four, no first four notes, you're going to play a B with your forefinger. And then you're going to play it again. And then you're going to move your left hand to move for the next part. So it's actually pretty simple. You've got... Excuse me, E, D, C, A, B, B, and basically like an E, but we'll worry about that later. So I want to put this in its context right away. So I'm going to show you what your right hand does for the first two notes. Um, you're going to play a B, an E, and a G. You're basically playing an E minor chord here, but you're playing an inversion. So you're going to play in this order, B, E, and G. So you're doing that while your left hand is playing an E roll from the bottom to the top and you're gonna do it four times two three four after that you're gonna move your left hand to this D and you're gonna do the exact same thing that you just did in your right hand so that's actually pretty easy the first two chunks the right hand does the same thing so I'll show you the first two and then I'll move right into the third Now, when you move to the C, your right hand has a pretty easy job. All you do is you move your thumb from this B up to a C, and you do a similar thing. So this time you only do it twice instead of four times. So you've got C, E, and G. All right. Then when you move to the A with your left hand, with your pinky, you're going to move the outer two fingers, I mean the top two fingers in your right hand up to an F and an A, and your thumb is going to stay on C. So you've got A in your left hand, while your right hand is playing C, F, A, C, F, A. So let me show you the first four all together, really slow. I'll try to get my fingers out of the way here. You really would play with this finger, but D over that inverted E minor chord. I've got a C, and my thumb moves to a C. Pinky, thumb, uh, top two fingers on the right hand move up. Now you're going to move to a B with your left hand, if you remember, that B with your forefinger, and you're going to do this. So in your, your left hand is playing a B, your right hand is playing B, uh, E flat, and A. And you, you only play that once, and then you move to... Uh, this is what you started out playing, so your thumb stays where it is, your middle finger plays an E and then a G, so you've got B, E flat, A, B, E, G, then, so after you play the, that sequence with your right hand, so you play this once and you play those two like chords rolled, okay, then you play this note again, and you play something different in this hand. What you're playing in this hand is a B, an E flat, 
well, let's call it a, a B, a D sharp, and an F sharp, and then an A, a D sharp, and an F sharp. And you're going to end that sequence with your right hand on an E, just a single E, and your left hand is going to play an E minor chord, which is just E, G, and B. And that, um, you don't have to worry about that, We're gonna, that's going to be the second part. from there okay so just so that I, I didn't confuse anybody instead of saying E flat I started using D sharp let's use D sharp so I'll do a quick review nice and slow um, from the top and then I'll let you practice part one all right in your left hand E in your right hand B E and G and this is how you start this is really slow version my left hand moves down to a D my right hand does the exact same thing I'm gonna be moving to a C in my left hand my right hand moves up to a C here. A in my left hand while the top two fingers of my right hand move up. B in my left hand. B, D sharp, A. B, E, G. Play this note again. B, D sharp, F sharp, A, D sharp. F sharp, and on an E in my right hand, and basically an E minor chord rolling from the bottom in my left. And that's all for uh, this section.